a very busy schedule this morning to be with us in our inaugural Zoom event. So before we kick off the exciting lineup today, I just want to spend a brief moment with you to share why we decided to organize this and what motivated us to do this. Um, in Singapore, more than 600,000 people suffer from a rheumatological condition. But most people know very little about rheumatology and immunology, as you can see. So, typical conversation goes like this when friends and family ask me what I do. So, what kind of doctor are you? And I go, rheumatologist, and they go, huh, what? Most people associate rheumatology with rheumatism or feng si, um, affecting old people, joint aches and pains. But that is a small spectrum of what we see. Um, majority of patients actually are in their 30s to 50s who are in the prime of their lives and um, they suffer from autoimmune conditions. So what does autoimmunity mean? Essentially, when the immune system turns against your own body and starts attacking multiple organs, and it can lead to organ failure and even life threatening sometimes. So, why is it important? And a lot of people actually have um, very little awareness of this condition, and so come to us rather late, and sometimes that becomes more difficult to treat. And also, um, research is needed to uncover why these things happen now. Um, and uh, better treatments need to be um, afforded to our patients for better care. And so research is one of the ways to do that. So in 2014, actually, um, the Rheumatology uh, Reverie uh, Research Fund was founded. Um, it was actually driven and initiated by one of our um, patients who suffered from lupus, Ms. Amina Chan, who's here with us today. Um, she was very passionate about the cause because she said to us, you know, um, you know, doctors, no treatment has been advanced in this area for more than 20, 30 years in lupus. You guys have to do something. And so put together the researchers, scientists, patients um, in this effort. And so the swim um, today is also the idea of another of our patients. So uh, Clement who will be sharing with us in a few minutes. He's a national swimmer. Um, he will share with you how he combated a painful condition and despite that went on against all odds to win uh, gold medals at the sea game. So I, before um, I hold you up further, I just want to um, highlight to you the booths behind me. Um, I like several of our key rheumatological diseases. Do drop by and have a chat with our patients, doctors and medical students are here as well um, to help out. Um, and you can um, answer some fun quizzes and send to win a prize. So enjoy the day, have fun, and all the best. So um, I would like to invite um, Clement. Huh? Yep, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause for Clement. All right, so Clement. So everybody, uh, maybe tell us uh, your your background because uh, we we heard you're a sportsman. Uh, yeah, I used to swim uh, competitively. So I represented Singapore at four Sea Games from 2009 to 2015. Yeah. Wow. So so can, can I just check with you? You are a gentleman, so uh, I'm okay asking you this question. How old are you this year? I'm 24. 24. Yeah. Okay, so so I heard uh, there, are, there are some uh, hindrance to your sports career as well. So so can you briefly tell us what happened? Yeah, uh, definitely. So I used to have a lot of shoulder pains. It began at 14 years old. So I always thought it was overtraining and stuff like that. But then in 2012, when I was serving my national service, I actually contracted this condition, this eye condition called uveitis. So. In, I was losing my vision in one night. So I went to get it checked out and then the doctors advised me to go for a blood test because uh, people, patients with UBIs usually have the, the gene HRAD27 present, which is the gene that people with ankylosing spondylitis have. So after that, I was diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis, which made a lot of, like, to me made a lot of sense because I was having frequent like, back aches and shoulder pains and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think a lot of us will dismiss a lot of uh, shoulder aches and back aches, uh, maybe due to our usual sitting posture or overtraining, but we used to ignore that. 
Okay, um, so after you realize that you're having this, uh, this symptoms, and, uh, what, what treatment or how, how do you go about this? Um, okay, so I've been working with Dr. Tambu since then, and basically because now there's no known cure for ankylosing spondyl like this, which is why I think we need the funds for further research. So as of now, I can only keep my condition under control, which is to basically take pills and continue to exercise. Yeah, well, uh, like what Dr. Lu had mentioned, I think uh, the advance in the, uh, by researching is going to help us a lot, uh, including our friends like Clement. So, uh, right here, um, can I just check with you, um, why are we participating in this? Uh, how Are you going to swim with us today? Yeah, I actually have 100 laps. 100 laps. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Clement. Come on, 100 laps. We look forward to your 100 laps. Okay. Uh, last thing today, I think uh, from ACS, you see so many friends from ACS today. Um, I think a lot of them are very aspired to be a state swimmer like yourself, represent Singapore. What uh, what uh, advice do you have for all the young swimmers here? Um, I know, like, keep chasing the dream, train hard, and don't give up basically. Because it was never a smooth sailing journey for me, but sometimes you just gotta. Good. Okay, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Clement. Thank you. Thank you, Clement.